That's nothing to what he's going to do in a minute. Having trouble. Never expected to get out of that crash alive, burn him up. Neither did I. Gosh, I sure thought you were killed. What happened? Something happened to my rudder. I couldn't make it work. Well, that's it, all right. Uh huh. Somebody filed it halfway through. It's a wonder we weren't killed. Who's the mechanic that was assigned to this plane? Oh, well, well, uh, it's a new man who just put on yesterday. Where is he? I'd like to ask him a few questions. Well, he was just here. Well, there he goes. I thought so. You know him? He's one of the bunch that's been trying to get me. Having trouble with his motor. Better get him now. Take the wheel, will you? Tucker. I've got nothing to explain. No? This ought to be enough to give you a nice long rest in the penitentiary. Let's turn him over to the police. Not yet. I'm going to give you a chance to save your neck, Tucker. Well, what do I have to do? Now you're talking. Do you mind dropping us off at the garage, Eddie? Say, what's this all about? 
That's what our friend here is going to help me find out. There's no use of lying, Tucker. I know there's a man higher up whom even Drummond takes orders from. Who is he? I tell you, I don't know. You know Phil, eh? Don't have fix of your gun. Leave him uh, alone, Tony. I, I don't hit him, Miss Marjorie. Ooh! Tony. I believe he's telling the truth, Burn him up. You're right, miss. All I know is that we get our orders from Drummond. In that case, I'll have to get the information out of Drummond. What's his number? Hempstead, 2171. What are you going to do? Tucker's going to tell Drummond that I was killed when the plane cracked up. Tony. Drummond talking. Good. Did anybody suspect you? No. What do you want me to do now? Better hang on to that mechanic's job for a day or so. If you cleared out now, they'd know it was you who did it. If anything happens, let me know right away. Well, Warren, I don't think Barnes will interfere with our plans anymore. With him out of the way, we won't have any trouble in persuading Miss Temple to sell her land. Provided she doesn't suspect that there's a million dollars worth of oil under it. Not a chance. Not a chance. We've kept it absolutely secret. I, uh... I think I'd better go and break the sad news to Miss Temple. <clears throat> so soon? A little sympathy and some money for funeral expenses go a long way toward closing the deal. If she falls for it, I'll send Barnes some flowers. <laughs> But you said you are going to let me go. I will, as soon as I make sure you're telling me the truth. Just make yourself comfortable, Tucker. Look out, someone's coming. Thank heavens, it's only Bobby. You're just in time, Bobby. I've got to get to the district attorney's office in a hurry. What are you going to do? Swear out a warrant for Drummond's arrest. Hot dog. Take good care of our guest, Tony. You bet you my life. Huh. Press up, press up. Say, let me in on this, will you, Tony? That's the light of this. Oh! By this time, Drummond has told the man higher up that I'm dead. He won't lose any time in coming over here trying to buy your land. Well, supposing he comes while you're gone? I hardly think he will. But if he does, stall him till I get back. Attorney didn't get a thing out of me. <laughs> Good. He'll never get anything on any of us now. Barnes is dead. Dead? Since when? I just saw him go into the district attorney's office. Why, it can't be. Tucker phoned me from the airport. I tell you, I know Barnes when I see him. He didn't look very dead to me. Then it's a trap, and Warren's walking right into it. Trap where? At the Temple and Barnes garage. You and Fraser beat it down there quick before Warren gets caught. Come on, Fraser, we got a job. There's a car stopping at the door. Wait, it's Mr. Warren. Mr. Warren? Why, this is a surprise. How do you do, Miss Temple? How are you, Bobby? You look as though you'd lost your best friend. I have, Miss Temple. And so have you. But what do you mean? I have bad news for you. There's been an accident at the airport, and Barnes was killed.
I broke down like this, Mr. Warren, but I don't know what's to become of Bobby and me. <laughs> why, we haven't even enough money to give Burnham up a decent funeral. Well, now, why don't you let me take care of that? In fact, I'll feel very badly, Miss Temple, if you don't allow me to take care of you and Bobby until you get on your feet. can't take that, Mr. Warren. How would I ever pay you back? Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about that now. Well, that's awfully kind of you, but I can't take it. Well, my dear child, you must have money. I'll tell you what we'll do. There's that land your father left you. I'll take it off your hands at your own price. If it'll make you feel any better, you can give me a little memorandum of sale, and we can arrange the details later. Why, I don't know what to say. You're so kind. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? Where's Barnes? Uh, he's out, uh, making him move the pitch. Give us five gallons of gas and put some water in the radiator. Get me out of here! It's Tucker! Summers, man, they're trying to rescue Tucker. Well, I better phone the police. I'll phone them. No operator. Get the police, quickly. is alive. Get out of here quick. Okay. Hide Tucker in the shack on Weldon Road and wait for orders. Mr. Drummond? Stevens talking. We're out here at the shack with Tucker. Good work. Yes, I know. Mr. Warren is here now. We don't need to worry about Barnes. Okay, boss. Boss, say anything about Barnes? Yeah, Barnes went down to the district attorney, but it won't do him any good. 
The boss has men waiting to get him when he comes out. I hope they get him this time. Jimmy Hampstead, 3521, quick. That's you, Marjorie? This is Bobby. I just learned that Drummond's got some men waiting for Burnham up when he comes out of the district attorney's office. You better warn him right away. Oh, well, they won't catch me. I found out what I want to know, and I'm going to leave here right now. Maybe it's the boss again. I better answer it. <laughs> 